back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we are building one of the houses that were suggested by one of you guys. So I asked a couple of videos ago, I can't remember which video it was. I think it was a couple actually, so not just one, but I asked if you guys had any suggestions for builds or videos that you'd like to see from me while I'm moving and like preparing to move and stuff and uh, this was one of them. So like, I think it, I think the suggestion was actually a librarian's tiny house, but the house didn't turn out to be tiny. So as you can probably tell, it more like it turned into a cottage. And um, I just, I had a lot of fun with this one. So if you're one of the people that always ask why I place down so many bookcases in my builds, this build is not for you, <laughs> just so you know. Um, it's not like there's like, bookcase is on every single wall in this build because we um we still had to make sure that there are windows and like doors leading from room to room but but um there's definitely a lot of bookcases in this build so like a lot of books i figured a librarian would love books so much that um they would have a lot at home as well i just i mean if you turn into or turn into a libra librarian that sounded so weird. If you decide to become a librarian, it must be because you have some kind of like huge love for reading and books in general. So um, that you can help other people inspire, that like inspire them to read as well and help them find the books that, that would possibly fit with this person and stuff. So I kind of like, I feel like they would have a huge selection of books in their personal homes as well, but I could be wrong about that. I've never met a librarian. I mean, other than at the library, but like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like I've never personally known a librarian. I think other than possibly my aunt has been one, but I don't really know for sure because <laughs> I haven't talked to her for a while, so like, I don't really know. I have a lot of aunts, okay, it's fine. Uh, but, so, so if I've mentioned, I don't think I've actually ever mentioned this aunt before, but I know that I've mentioned a couple. So it's, it's one of the ones that I haven't mentioned before and haven't really talked about before. Not that I figure you guys keep track of my aunts cause that would be weird, but you know, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't really, I can't even remember what her house looks like but considering she grew up with my dad, it wouldn't surprise me if she has a lot of books because my dad has a lot of books. So, and then she's a librarian or was, at least I think she was. I cannot remember for the life of me, but I think she was in some kind of capacity. So, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to do a house that I felt like would fit with a Sim being a librarian, even though I'm pretty sure you can't be one in the Sims. So um, this is kind of like my take on it. The house itself was actually inspired by a painting that I found or a drawing. I think it was a painting though on, uh, on Pinterest. It looked so romantic. I was just kind of like scouting or what do you call it? Doing the rounds on Pinterest. No, that's not how you say that either. I was just, uh, you know, browsing. I was having fun just looking around on Pinterest and Sometimes when you open a picture, it'll like the the AI or whatever it is, it'll generate a whole new kind of, it's um, so like you can open a picture of the house in a certain style and then it'll also open or suggest a picture of a house in a style that's kind of like very close to the style of the first house. But sometimes those houses also turn into pictures because these pictures, drawings, I should say, paintings look so realistic. So I got in like a little bit of like a, I tunnel visioned on those paintings for a little while. There are such cute romantic drawings on there. I don't really know where they've been posted originally because I never actually follow the links and stuff. So like I don't, I don't check, but there are so many on Pinterest and they're so cute. So I felt like it had been a while as well since last time I took inspiration from a drawing. Not a, not a, uh, or not a drawing, but a painting because a lot of the floor plans that I follow, the retro ones are drawings, of course, because they're floor plans. But it's been a while since I've taken inspiration from a painting. Also because I feel like a lot of them often are Victorian houses <laughs> and we're not going to get into that. Apparently I should not 
Okay, this is gonna sound so salty, but um, apparently stating personal opinions is a little bit dangerous at times. So I'm just not gonna get into the whole Victorian house talk today. I cannot, I don't wanna handle it. I don't wanna deal with it, but uh, yeah, I just, no, I don't wanna build them essentially. So I just kind of like move on from the paintings, but I got in, like, let's say Pinterest suggests kind of like a thread to you. So this time it suggested a thread with just paintings of cottages, like very idyllic cottages in super cute landscaping. Some of them were lake houses as well. And now I'm kind of obsessed with them. So I kind of want to build more. I figured this one would be perfect for Henford on Bagley as well. Um, it is a bit, it's not a brick cottage. So it's, I don't think it's supposed to be um, British, but I mean, it does have that wallpaper. I forgot what that's called in English right now, which they did use for a while in Britain. So like, I don't know what this picture painting is actually, I don't even have it saved anymore because I built this yesterday. So it's not open in my browser anymore, but I don't actually, I don't actually know what, where this house would be if it exists in real life or if the painter just made it up or whatever, I don't know. But it was cute, so I wanted to build it and so I did. So um, yeah, that's what we're doing today. And also adding a lot of, a lot of flowers because the original house or the painting, well, the, the house in the painting, let's just say the original house, okay, and go with it. But it was covered in like vines and flowers as well. And there was like, uh, the landscaping around the house was very, I think it was slightly on a hill or something. So I wanted to recreate that in a little, like a little bit at least, cause I didn't want to build this on a huge lot and make, make like a proper hill with ter terrain tools. So I ended up using the foundation tool instead. So that's what we're doing here. I will say just a quick note on that, that it does look kind of odd if you are playing in like early spring, uh, autumn or like late autumn, I wanna say, and also winter. Not so much winter if it's snowing though, but outside of like summer season, it does look a little bit strange in The Sims because the terrain that I'm using with the flooring, uh, the grass flooring doesn't actually change with the seasons. So that's a reason that I've kind of been not really using this trick with the foundation, but I like doing it because I think it looks cute. I think it adds a little bit without having to deal with the annoyance of terrain manipulation sometimes because it does get a little bit like it gets very brown. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but hopefully you get what I mean. Like whenever you race, the, um, like if you race the, the ground and then you raise it just a little bit too much, but you still want to make sure that there's surface that's flat enough so that you can place plants on it and do, you know, foliage and all that stuff, do landscaping. You end up with this like very steep, st what's it called? Like a steep, not a hill, a steep slope. Let's go with slope. And the slopes are always, if that's not the right word, you get what I mean anyway, so we're good. But <laughs> they're always brown in The Sims and I just wanted the landscaping to be very green and also colorful with all the flowers. So I decided to go over the, for the foundation tool instead. I hope you guys are okay with that. If you want to use this for gameplay, feel free to do with what, like whatever you want with the foundation. If you don't want it to just stay green all year round, but I felt like it was important to note as well for you guys that it doesn't actually change with the seasons. Um, for those of you who don't necessarily think about it, or in case you did not know, um, but yeah. Also, I'm having issues talking today. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think. I think the stress of moving has gotten to me just a little bit. So now I feel like I'm in a hurry all the time. And that means I get tongue tied <laughs> when I have to talk and it's super annoying. I just, I don't want to get tongue tied when I talk. It's very, it's bothering me a lot when I'm doing voiceovers that I get so tongue tied. But um, anyway, we're going to get through this anyway. We're good, right? Okay. So as for the interior, just kind of trying to make it fit with the rest of the house, of course. So trying to go for like cozy vibes with a cottage vibe as well, which I think automatically cottage vibe is kind of cozy as it is, but just making everything very comfortable, maybe a little bit vintage as well. Like I feel like the librarian wouldn't necessarily have gone all in on new furniture, especially not furniture from Ikea or something like that. 
we're going in for like second hands. So they've definitely been out and about at vintage stores or whatever those are called. Not vintage stores, but I cannot remember the word of that for that right now, <laughs> this very moment. And found like a used chair, for example. Maybe this couch has gone through generations or something. Maybe they got it from a, grand, a grandparent or whatever. So they just have like older looking furniture. And then I figured as well that they would have a lot of like a lot of shelves or a lot of surfaces that they could place books on. So that's what we're doing over underneath the uh, the window here on the left side. I figured they would also need a desk so that they could have a computer with internet access so they can order more books if they like to do that over the internet, as some people do. Um, and also I figured it would be good for them to have one. I know it's the typewriter, but I was really charmed by it, so I had to use it. It doesn't really look like a computer, but it works like a computer, I think. I'm pretty sure it does. It's super cool. I don't think I've ever used it before, but I just had to for this house. I feel like it fits with the vibe of the house, like there's something very secondhand about it. So, um, but I figured they would also need it to make like a catalog of their own library. So not only do they go to work, and catalog the library, but they also catalog their own library. It's a lot of cataloging. This person is very organized. I envy them. Anyway, so I don't, I really should have play tested that computer because I'm really curious to see how it actually works. The screen is so tiny, like it looks like a tablet. How did they turn a typewriter into a computer? This I would like to know, is that a thing you can actually do in real life? Cause that's so cool. If that's a th I don't see how that would work like internally, IT wise, technically, you know what I mean? Like I don't see how that would work, but maybe it is possible in one way or another. Super cool, very cool concept. I don't know whoever designed that got my thumbs up. It's very cool. It's a very cool item. Um, but yeah, also just trying to, um, so obviously we're using a little bit from high school years here, which I wouldn't necessarily do outside of teen bedrooms, but I felt like there was something secondhand-ish about both this bed frame, but also the side tables or the bedside tables. So we're using that today, but um, <laughs> whenever I look at this, because I'm, I'm pretty sure that I've only used if for like a parent's bedroom or something like once before, something like that. But it just kind of reminds me of teens bedrooms by now. But I feel like this this bed right here is perfect for the interior. So I just kind of had to go for it. Gotta, gotta like get rid of that association anyway. You know what I mean? Like we want to make sure that we can use the, the items in um, a lot of different circumstances. So, or a lot of different interiors, a lot of different, you know what I mean? I, yes, okay, moving on. <laughs> so of course they would also have a bookcase in the bedroom. These are the books that they're currently reading. I know it's a lot, but some people just have it. I, I personally don't. I can't handle more than like, I wanna say, how many books am I reading right now? One, two, four, four, three, three or four. And an audiobook as well, because I'm desperately trying to learn how to listen to audiobooks. So that's my max amount. But I know that there are some people out there who some for some reason somehow can manage to track or keep track of like four different, no, not four. <laughs> that's the amount of books that I'm reading. Let's say 10, 10 different pl plot points or 10 different plots at the same time. I'm not one of those people, but this librarian is a superhuman. So of course they'd be able to track like 20 plots at the same time. They're superhuman, that's just how it is, okay? I mean, we could also say that the bookcase is like books that they want to read, like the bookcase in the bedroom, books that they would like to read before bed, you know, for like they're not necessarily reading them all right now, but like future reads before, you know what I mean, okay, good. I can't phrase things today, so this is just how half the voiceover is gonna go. <laughs> I mean, we've already done most of the voiceover, but we got like three minutes left, <laughs> but anyway. Bathroom is pretty, pretty simple. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that a walk-in closet is what I would envision for this librarian, but I had the space for it, so I decided to add it. You can do whatever you want with that space, to be honest. I mean, do whatever you want with the whole house if you wanna download it and then 
strip it of everything that I've placed on it, feel free to do so. It's your game. You do you. <laughs> um, but I just felt like I had the space for the walk-in closet. So it felt a little bit weird decorating it because I have gotten so used to decorating walk-in closets with the dream home decorator elements, but it didn't feel like I didn't just didn't fit with the house. So I had to figure out another way, kind of like covered up those stream home decorator shelves a little bit with some cupboards but anyway so as for the landscaping again just a lot of flowers like a lot of flowers i really wanted this to look very romantic on the outside so very like cozy idyllic if that's how you pronounce it i don't think i've ever heard that word pronounced before so i just kind of have to guess sometimes <laughs> it's fine you people out there who uh, do not speak English as your, as your first language, you know what I mean, right? We're on the same page, yes. But um, just wanted it to look very romantic. Actually, I think I might have mispronounced it. Idyllic? I don't, moving on, it's okay. As for the yard or garden or whatever you wanna call it, I was so tempted to place down the chicken coop, but for some reason I just felt like plant plots would be a little bit better suited for the build. I don't really know exactly why other than I had a quick a quick thought that no chicken coops would take too much time to tend as if planting a lot of plants or <laughs> veggies or whatever wouldn't take a lot of time. I don't know it doesn't always have to be um sensible if you will logical also i was desperately trying to listen to my audiobook at the same time <laughs> as i was building at this point so like my thoughts didn't necessarily make a lot of sense okay i am very untrained when it comes to audiobooks i just am so bad at listening to them like i don't know what it is my brain's not wired for it but i'm really desperately trying to get better ignore that that card or whatever it's called is floating right now it's not in the uploaded version i don't know why it's floating i cannot tell you why because I, I don't know why but it is just ignore it it's all good there is literally no reason for it to float like none I have no idea what's going on with it. It's it's so puzzling to me. But anyway, um, so other than that, yeah, they just have like a picnic table and the gardening station as well, which came with the greenhouse kit. And of course a grill, even though the grill is very big. Feel free to swap it out with a smaller one. I just, luxury. I needed to add a little bit of luxury. So other than that, I think we are at the end of this video. So if you guys like this build, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT and you can also find it on the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. And as always, you can find the trade files over on my Patreon, which will be linked to in the description box down below, where you can also find a link to my booktube channel where I talk about books. So very fitting for today's video. <laughs> So if you like to watch videos where people rant about books in uh, all different kinds of ways, definitely go check it out. But that is all I got for you guys today, so I hope you all enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye! Who am I to say we kept ignoring all the promises? Who am I to say there's nothing left? Who am I to look down? Who am I to say you won the war? When all I did was fight so hard I forgot what I was fighting for Who am I to say I was breaking down? Who am I to turn around? Maybe someday I'll wait for it Someday I'll look past all the reasons and Wrong turns I took Someday I'll fight for it Better than I fought for you Who are you to say you changed your mind?